everyone. So a bit of a disclaimer, I had a bit of a continuity error in this video. So at the beginning, the first scene, Derek and the teacher are talking, he's wearing a red t-shirt. Then Justin walks in with a dark gray t-shirt. And then the next scene when they're outside and for the rest of the video, Derek is now wearing a dark gray, dark gray t-shirt and uh, Justin is wearing the red t-shirt. Justin's always wearing a hat, so you can always remember that. But uh, that, a bit of an oops in that and I couldn't re-record because I had gotten a haircut after all that. So just want to let you know, enjoy the video and I hope you learned something. <laughs> then the barber said to the guy, he said, wait, you want a haircut? This is a coffee shop. <laughs> Why are you guys laughing? Whoa! There's an emergency! Uh, oh no! What is it? Is someone hurt? D did you lose a toe? Oh, is, is someone after you? Do, do we need to call the police? Is, is there a giant rabid bear rampaging through the city that only we can stop? What? No! I... I lost the contact! Ah. Well, I thought it was something important. It is! My mom's gonna kill me if I can't find it! Uh... Aren't those kind of like cheap? Like you get a box of like 40. Can't you just like replace it? No, these are like $120 a piece. And I already lost some this month. I gotta go find it. I gotta go find it. Oh, well, we should start looking now. Let's go. Uh, nothing over here. I can't find anything over here. No, oh, I, I don't see anything over here either. How did you lose it? Where do you think you lost it? I, I have no idea. I mean, I was just walking up to the office and I tripped. Oh, oh, oh no. I lost the other contact. Oh, man. <laughs> What's my mom going to do? <sighs> don't worry, Justin. Uh, we can keep looking. We can keep looking. Three hours later. Well, I think I've called this yard and I don't see anything. Oh, no, me neither. I can't believe I lost another pair of contacts. <laughs> my mom, she's gonna kill me. <laughs> I can't believe my eyes. What? Wait. Uh, wait. Uh, 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 oh, 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 oh. Wait, guys, guys. I found them! They, they were in my eyes the whole time! Would you have guessed that? What? We spent three hours combing this whole stupid yard to look for something that you found in the eye where you first put it? Oh, I'm gonna slap that contact right out of your eye one more time, then you can look for it yourself! Oh, okay, 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 don't, don't hurt me, don't hurt me! Whoa, 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 Calm down, Derek. You punch anyone or whatever you shouldn't do. Actually, you know, maybe we should go inside and calm down a little bit. This, uh, this whole situation actually reminds me of, of our word of the week and the story we're going to talk about today. What is it? Uh, well, the word corn, if you could believe it. What? Well, let's go inside and find out, alright? Well, our word today is coin, and a lost coin at that. How does a lost coin have anything to do with a missing expensive contact? Yeah, besides the fact that they both start with the letter C. Actually, they have more in common than you think. Why don't we read the story and then you can see what we're talking about. <laughs> nice pun. Har, har, har. My eyes still hurt from that. Oh. Now let's remember, uh, this story is is building off of the sheep story we talked about last week. And so this is the lost coin story. A and this is when the Pharisees, again, are upset that Jesus is hanging out with these sinners and these unworthy people. And, and Jesus wants these Pharisees to understand that it doesn't matter that someone is, is lost or, or unworthy or dirty. That It's about wanting them to come back into the fold, to come back into the, the saving graces of God. And that's what we are called to do. And that's what Jesus is trying to teach 
these Pharisees that everyone is worthy because we are all unworthy and God is the one that deems us worthy. And so he, he is teaching. He teaches about this, this sheep that wanders off and the shepherd goes and finds them. And this time he's talking about a woman who loses a coin and, and the woman goes out and searches for this coin because it's important to her, because it's special. And this all is in Luke 15. And so that's what we're going to read. We're actually going to read Luke 15, 8 through 10. Ooh, oh, oh, can, can I read? Uh, sure. I love the enthusiasm. Verse 8. Or suppose a woman has ten silver coins and loses one. Does she not light a lamp and sweep the house and search carefully until she finds it? Boy, I'm glad to get home. Oh, it just doesn't feel safe walking around outside with all this money. But it's not safe at home either. I, I just I just don't know what to do with my life savings. Oh, I'm straight home. <laughs>
found my lost coin. I have found my lost coin. Oh, everyone, listen to me. What was this lost? I have found. I have found my coin. Oh, praise the Lord. And when she finds it, she calls her friends and her neighbors together and says, Rejoice with me, I have found my lost coin. In the same way, I tell you, there is rejoicing in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner who repents. Nice. You know, I wonder what an angel party would look like. Think it would look like this? Funny, funny, funny. Let's calm down. Remember, we're talking about rejoicing over the loss being found, not just a big old dance party. Yeah, sorry. But I still don't get it. I mean, she just lost a coin. I mean, I lost a few quarters in my day, and I didn't run around the house trying to turn over everything to look for it. Uh, well, we need to keep a few things in mind. Uh, one is... She probably had most of her life savings with her in her bag that she had all those coins in. Why didn't she keep it in a bank? Uh, there were no banks. That was like 2,000 years ago. Well, well, they had some types of banking and loans back then. It just was a little bit different than what we have now. And actually, it probably would have only been for the select few. And so she more than likely wouldn't have had them. And remember, this is a parable. It's just a moral story. It's not necessarily true. It's based in truth. But there probably wasn't specifically this woman who lost these coins. He's just trying to teach an example. And so in this situation, she, is ha she has 10 coins with her. Probably all that she has saved up. And she loses one of those coins. I mean, do you have any idea how much one of those coins could have been worth? Nope. But I'll bet you'll tell us. Wow. The sass is strong in this one. <laughs> And yes, I will tell you. Actually, I'll do you one better. I'll show you. So Jesus, um, in the scriptures, said that the coin she had was a drachma. And uh, another name or another type of coin they would have used back then is a denarii. Denarius, denaria, what, uh, kind of depends on how you want to pronounce it. Which is actually this little coin right here, which uh, was akin to a day's wages. And so if you were to look at inflation and things like that for today, that could be anywhere between $100 and $200. Here, check it out. Oh, whoa. Is that real silver? Hot diggity, dude. Man. Yeah, that's definitely worth more than just a few quarters. Yes, and for most people, it was about living paycheck to paycheck. The average person back then wasn't able to save in a large quantities or, or, you know, they had to go grocery shopping every day because they couldn't store food because they didn't have a refrigeration and things like that. And so if you think about it, this woman had lost a whole day's worth of work. Whoa. Now I get why she was excited to find it. Wow. Yeah, I mean... I couldn't imagine my mom having to take a whole day's worth of wages of work to pay for that $120 for my contacts. I mean, I should be more grateful for what my parents provide me. Yes, and I really think you should. And we got to remember, this woman must have been ecstatic to find what she had lost. Yeah, in this story, God seems pretty happy too. Yes, but again, it's... It's not about the story of the lost sheep or the lost coin specifically, because again, those are stories to help us understand. It has to do truly, it always comes down to this, it has to do with the lost people coming back to God. And so that is what God is, is excited about. That's what Jesus is trying to explain to these people, that though those people that Jesus is hanging out with, those sinners, those Unworthy people are worthy to God because God wants them to be saved. And Jesus was going 
at that time had not done it yet, but would sacrifice himself to give everyone a chance at that salvation through faith. And uh, actually, that's a little bit of a hint to what we're going to talk about next week in regard to people being lost and then being found. Ooh, I wonder what it is. Yeah, tell us. Not this time. Make sure you guys, especially you, Justin, you get here early so we can start to learn about the word we're going to talk about next week, which is prodigal and how that has to do with being lost. What? Dude, you are so confusing. I know. <laughs> and we're talking about the lost sheep, a lost coin, a lost person. It can be kind of confusing. But uh, you have a great day. See you guys next week. And uh, maybe you... You could just read a little bit further into Luke and uh, learn a little bit more about this story that we're going to talk about next week. especially the lower income people live paycheck to paycheck paycheck to paycheck potato chip to potato chip they ate potato chips <laughs> I over laughed Meat that went with the other thing that they couldn't have, but what am I doing?